Capital Rap Battle, Sweet in the 613, Ottawa makes some noise. Like Michael Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, check out CapitalRapBattles.ca, prehistoric. I got a couple co-hosts, including legend. Huh? Joey Gambello, man. Um, shout out to my sponsors, uh, Peppy. Pornhub, Peppy, <laughs> Tim Hortons, <laughs> and, the, and the great Canadian Superstore. Uh, yeah. Check me out on OnlyFans. That's what. That's what's up. And of course, ah, Frenchy Fresh. Shout out Bars of That. I got a special co-host with me. Hey. Bars of That's up in here. Six one three. What up? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, check them out on Facebook, Facebook and all that good shit. Yep. Without further ado, we got a crazy battle. It goes without saying. Please hold it down. Listen to the bars. React accordingly. Battler to my right. Introduce yourself. CRB legend, by the way. Back Let's go. Huh? On God. Beast mode. 613 is favorite uncle. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And making his debut. Who are you? The Beast from the Southeast reporting live from the 305 to the 905. I am Mr. Mm. Day to the Dot. I am Ulysses, Art of War 305, yeah. Click Bang, Purple Gang, Art of War 305, <laughs> Beast Mode, and Bars of Death, and Bars of Death is the motherfucking squad, you hear me? Let's go. Anyone want to go first or are we flipping? I'll go first. Yeah. Alright. Don't get it twisted. Me battling you, I didn't have any fascination. No disrespect, bro, but this a death note. They only handed me your destination. I came to Ottawa to blow up the spot. Y'all think I mean rapping in exaggeration. I mean blocks of C4 around the bridge that have been strapped for a detonation. Woo! You see, the irony is in your namesake. Witness my lack of intimidation. You stepped into this battle not knowing the gravity of the situation. <laughs> you think I'm capping? What if I said fuck the rabbit? Put a fade up, bitch. You wanna punch with me for skill? I'm thinking punch with me for real, pussy straight up fist. They dug you up to dig your grave. They gon' find you face down in a straight up ditch, not an open, body floating. Now gravity suffering weightlessness. <laughs> Man, I bet everyone in this block frail. Soon as I brandish these new Glocks, Tom Cruise and Cocktail, white boys dancing in his tube socks. Bodily organs, bodily fluids. All it took was a few shots. Now gravity's feeling a third less of himself. Fuck bullets, pussy, they're moon rocks. <laughs> This ain't a rap battle, it's a back alley. I was the wrong nigga to come across. I gave you a slow death. Your people called it a sudden loss. See, I'm a true savage to the moon, Alice. Bitch gets lifted when I uppercut her jaws. Now you're seeing this dickhead leave the atmosphere. Jeff Bezos shuttle launch. I can tell you're a good father. I can picture you as you walk with your daughter with glee. But I'm Isaac Newton, rifle shooting. I dropped you and your kid right along with you, see? I'm not trying to hurt your kid, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's not the monster in me. But I just proved to gravity the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Y'all yeah. <laughs> might not like my opinion. Fuck it, I'm a stay hater. I'm not losing to a fucking gringo that's lacking any major flavor. You don't look like a tough guy. You look like some old white woman's favorite neighbor. <laughs> Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. 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 Doug, who the fuck, who the fuck actually saved the white template on Create a Player? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be mad as fuck if I played Xbox and you the character they offered, bro. We've gone from fucking Def Jam fight for New York to fucking Meth Lab fight for Oshawa. <laughs> I mean, bro, they didn't tell you this battle was suicide? Fuck it, you've already tied that noose. A skinny ABC rapper with a big head? Bro, I'm battling a white papoose. <laughs> Dog, I'm Elon Musk with this rap shit. You lack any innovation. That's why you went from feeling good about this pa to not feeling any sensation. For me, this rhyme battle is space and time travel. Now check out the correlation, because for me to solve for both, I had to take gravity out the equation. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, you're an opponent that I'm playing with, G. You don't have the energy to light yourself up to a Super Saiyan degree. And for all of y'all that have watched Dragon Ball, it's as plain as can see that gravity at its strongest is fucking training for me. Yo, make some noise, man. Let's... Oh, man. Hold it down. Long jabs, long jabs. 
If it isn't another bedraggled rap refugee from the 416. <laughs> locked down, locked out, and forced to trip looking for his fix. And you had a bad couple years, bro. A lot of stress and drama. So it's gonna be a bad trip here like you've suppressed your trauma. I am your lie, you're fucking not. <laughs> Just a grifting weirdo, a mid-tier hoe whose pops had the ego to name him for a mythic hero. You win, ha! And the Nazis will unclench their assholes when cases get to zero. Bro, you're so old, Connor gonna have to make you look young like Scorsese did De Niro. He could. And now I know we're both pushing 40, like we're trying to pick a fight with it. But I write to make light of it, and you hype your shit in spite of it. This guy is cocky, narcissistic, with fantasies and delusions of youth, while I embody the artistic synergy of savagery, beauty, and truth. And you... And you diss Lil Wayne over your, your NBA crew that he slandered. <laughs> I get it. LeBron, Wade, Bosch, Wayne. Big names you could use just to pander. You had an album to market. You need some easy views. It's the answer. Also, textbook case of stupid-ass rapper with delusions of grandeur. Bro, snap back to reality. Like, oh, there goes gravity. I know he's too mad. He won't let up that easy. I mean, the idea that cam rap in a pandemic advanced your career is some insane pretension. <laughs> there is something fucking sad about staring at a cam in your room and saying, main event shit. Fucking cam rap. And even when you do, your setups all belabored, your punches all half cocked. Your bars lack flavor, so you gotta yell them in caps lock. <laughs> I mean, you rap so imperiously, but no one takes you that seriously. You've got the cadence of a preacher whose gospel is a pyramid scheme. Ah! Hey. <laughs> got the cadence of a preacher whose gospel is just a pyramid scheme. And just so that you know, I use the fat from your lipo to make soap that funds my terrorist cell. And I know you're still fat on the inside, just now you're wearing it well. You've been huffing a lot of gas, it's got you believing your own narrative, L. Now little man syndromes come all the way to Ottawa just to embarrass himself. You started the round talking about my age. And you expressed it with such extreme hate. Martin Scorsese to Robert De Niro. Yeah, you winning this battle would be a deep fake. Uh, ooh, okay. ooh. I am Ulysses. Yes. But to the cute bitches, it's Ulysses. Class in session. White boy thought he had this essay figured out. Well, allow me to switch your theses. I know a couple crips on lockdown that'll reduce you to nothing but piss and feces. I got some blue niggas in the box ready to do anything. Hi, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. <laughs> See, I don't know why they didn't warn you I wasn't the man you should contend with. Time is money. I had better ways than battling you to spend it. Does reverse racism exist? Well, I don't know, fam. Let's pretend it. Because for my next trick, I'm a lynch, Charles. That's how you leave gravity suspended. No! Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that. You thought I wasn't loaded for war? Fucking play with it, fool. We both were construction. You should have known that I stayed with a tool. Mm. From Mississauga to Ottawa with a phone call, I had people laying in wait for the bull. I could bring you down anywhere, pussy. Now that's gravitational pull. <laughs> Who's winning this battle, bro? That's something we are not debating. This ain't a rapper, this a bitch. This ain't acapella, he's ovulating. <laughs> I use an enemy's corpse to decorate. So just to give you the proper framing, you'll see gravity upside down on my wall and it's not a Salvador Dali painting. Mm. They, say, they say objects in nightmares are closer than they appear. So you know that I'm not far when sun shoots bullets big as a black hole to rest you in peace in a sound garden. I am levels beyond you. This ain't a situation to feel hopeless or get scarred in. He's witnessing evolution firsthand. I turned Charles David to Charles Darwin. Oh. I am having so much fun out here. I am having.
having so much fun out here. Let's go. I am so <laughs> owning this clown. This is championship, Ottawa. Someone go get me the crown. Ooh, this is oh. your city, your hood, and I took control of the town? Bro, how the fuck are you gravity? You can't hold anything down. <laughs> It's ironic, I went sober, but you can't handle these shots. In the ring, I'm a gynecologist, I manhandle these twats. I'm using your ashes for fertilizer, so right after these shots, I'm spreading every grain on the ground so I can manage my crops, and I'm turning his casket into a gravity box. Google it. Everybody hold it down, this is fucking insane. Bro, you just said you manhandled the twats. But you're single now, and that's a man you are not. Now, hey. since I was a boy in the sticks, bumping Dre and Wu, I had a dream that one day a man of color might call me his N-word while he rapped a scheme. <laughs> and now we're bringing my people around to wokeness, and I know it's a slog. It was just never enough for me that they might call me homie or dog. <laughs> See, I wanted rappers to be inclusive when they applied it. Now it's low-hanging forbidden fruit and I'm petrified by it. Shit, it's best if I'm quiet. Wouldn't want unrest or more violence. Feeling like the next out-of-pocket Becky karaoke might set off a riot. <laughs> Bro, I listened to too much rap and got desensitized by it. That said, maybe one day that word will be a gender and I can identify by, by it. it. <laughs> If I live the dream today, well, he's only Puerto Rican. Man, fucking Nems is half Irish. Tell me, can someone more melanated like suspend you guys' license? I, I digress. This is tight. I digress. And if you're repping Puerto Rico, well, I expect finely aged rum, not some boring beast mode entitled minor stage bum whose shit aguardiente leaves a bad taste and scorches throats. My still drip leaves a cooling sensation. Floral notes. Ah! Okay. And among the Boricuas of rap, well, LMS is sort of a geek. Like a boring and weak 90s Florida chic immortal technique. <laughs> like big pun, if he was unoriginal lyrically, artificially skinny and gimmicky. <laughs> Talks like a G, but on the real, I'ma kill this little ridiculous middleman. He didn't do diddly. <laughs> you are the Joel Ortiz of corn and cheese. <laughs> you are more AOC than Cortez, please. <laughs> and I think I'd have liked you more back when you were more obese. I mean, like, morbidly. Fucking American, Canadian, Puerto Rican posers, probably secretly Portuguese. <laughs> but but I, I don't want to dwell on or exploit our racial differences. Suffice to say, American ain't exactly my taste in immigrants. Plus, you move around a lot, and you rep every single place you live in. It's never of any great significance. You must miss Florida, though. At least there they freed and promised not, promised not to medically segregate and rape their citizens. Yeah. 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 Okay. I said it. Everything's for sale, even the science. The bullshit only marches on because of people's compliance. Forced vaccination is rape, and the media is the virus. Suck a dick. <laughs> Yo, this is a fucking crazy battle. We're going to the third. Yes, I am a father. Yes, I am single. And you talked about that like I'm stressed. I get to fuck bitches and eat kids snacks. Nigga, I'm blessed. <laughs> and then you talked about me and my ethnicity. So now I gotta mistreat your bum ass. Mm. Because I'm Puerto Rican. I'm already a citizen, you dumbass. <laughs> now, we're in the thorns for being a king because life gave you that crown. Motherfucker rent payments, child support, working overtime to stay above ground. Phone calls at three in the morning because your plug had escaped out of town. Because the niggas he thought were being legit had fucked up the scale by a pound. I told you, I told you I wasn't interested in this. You thought I was playing around? I don't give a fuck about someone named Gravity. Bitch, I got real shit weighing me down. Oh, wow.
it. Here we go, bro. The third <laughs> round. Now I gotta close this bitch. Porn photographers in the 80s. Now I gotta expose this bitch. You went against Chetty, and you said, I hope someone calls the cops. <laughs> wow. Uh -oh. And I hope, uh -oh. and I hope I'm that anonymous tipper. What? Now, I need to repeat that, because bro, how the fuck do you figure? He said, I hope someone calls the cops, and I hope I'm that anonymous tipper. That's how you can tell that last battle was not with a nigga. You're gonna have to forgive me, bro. I hope I don't look dumb for staring. I thought your name was Charles. When the fuck did you become a Karen? Yo, are, are you transitioning, bro? Is this a sex change? Were you feeling brave to make the switch? Because from my mind, from where I stand, you've gone from a man straight to a bitch. I need somebody to pinch me to make sure I'm not tripping. I can't believe I get to tell a white man, stop snitching! <laughs> Bro, I come from a city where every day we've flown birds. Snitches get stitches. We make glass jaws break on stone curbs. And you, and you want to be a rat. That's why I don't associate with these known nerds. Bro, your gravity. How did you not know the weight of your own words? Stop all the tough talk. You bluffing. Fuck did y'all think? A fight breaks out, you gonna see dude punching? Or he's gonna have a nigga moment? Throw a chair, 20 of his crew jumping? Nah, he's gonna dial 9-1 and wait for you to do something. Your people. Your people are egging you on, telling you fight back, clown. But that's you in your own words. You gon' fight that how? Man, if y'all don't get this snitch from round me, the fucking left might smack down, or you'll see the right crack down. And look at him, he's about to tell on me right damn now. <laughs> Charles' favorite sex position, you know what his girl says? What Charles likes to do is climb into her side of their bed. And right when she reaches out to start jerking his third leg, he blows a whistle and screams, Top Flight Security of the World, Craig! You have, you had aspirations of being a snitch. That's why it's so easy to clown you. Gravity affects Earth's rotation. This has given me a profound view. Because the fact your name is Gravity, I mean the irony should astound you, but as a white man, I guess you're used to thinking the planet revolves around you. Tom, thank you. No, meet your Battle rap. <clears throat> it's all fun and games till you're knee deep in the muck. Like Artax, he's giving up, feet getting stuck. Feeling the suck, fuck it. Ditch the metaphor and the technical critique bars just to keep it a buck. He is a cuck. His marriage was a bargain far too easily struck. Damn. You thought you could be the husband and the Mac. Well, I think thinking wishful's pathetic. Like your dad naming you after a hero from an ancient mythical epic. Or like you thinking Cam Raps your Odyssey and we ought to be giving you credit. Bro, even heroes can't make hoes into housewives. Their condition's genetic. <laughs> <laughs> but we see you out here rapping and grinding when the times are hard. All your crises got you feeling low, but now you're making higher art. And all the while your heart implodes inside you like a dying star, a black hole that assholes like gravity will just mine for bars. <laughs> But Ulysses is the type to believe his own hype as he spits it. He puts consigned product in his own pipe and he hits it. The Lord have mercy on a man whose main bitch is dissing him, spiteful and wicked, using her superpowers and shape-shifting into his wife for a minute. Hey. Uh -huh. And then the illusion fades. 
Like once she gave your son life, she was finished. You're a greater man as a father now, yet somehow slightly diminished. You didn't fall for a real woman, just the false projected light of her image. Ah. Rolling mm. stones from broken homes. If they'd only known a wife's not a right, she's a privilege. Hey. Ooh. 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 And since the divorce, his main bitch is a mannequin he looted from a Louis Vuitton. She's worth more than the futon mattress he's been screwing her on. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all don't even want to imagine what he might actually do with whores based on his treatment of side pieces from Lululemon and the Gucci stores. <laughs> Whenever he gets fed up with one of his bougie mannequins or mad at her, he pays a real hoe to come peg him and get all up in his dick hole like a catheter. And I know we'll have some angry viewers now because gravity's being graphic, but that shit looked like a small snake swallowing an antelope on National Geographic. You think this is bad? Motherfucker, you could have battled Lescap. You would get way more views, but your ass would get tapped. Now, I give a fuck about LMS's plan of attack. This man is a hack. I'm gonna just sit casually back and brag about how my family's intact. Bro, tonight is do or die. I won't suicide. I give a fuck about LMS's plan of attack. This man is a hack. I'm gonna just sit casually back and brag about how my family's intact. Now, tonight's do or die, and I won't suicide. You can tap that pact on my back. As a matter of fact, last man standing is whack. Sure as Epstein didn't kill himself, and McAfee was whacked. Yo, make some noise for these guys! Promo, tell us who you thought won in the comments. Shout out to everyone in the 613.